We used to be concerned that a terrestrial conflict might extend into space. So let's say there's an issue in the, in the Pacific or there's an issue with China attempting to acquire Taiwan by force or something mm -hmm. the Russians might do. And perhaps uh, the conflict heats up and it would escalate and involve space, which would harm us in a number of ways. I don't believe that's true anymore either. A conflict like that on Earth will begin in space wow. because yeah. China will see it as a means of leveling the playing field and enabling their ability to proceed with a terrestrial uh, military action. Well said. And, and I think it gets lost on people that our entire, not only our national security equities, but our entire economy is dependent upon space, whether it's PNT or precision nav timing, clocks. You mess around with clocks, you can rule the world. And uh, these are the sorts of things that I, I'm not sure the average American thinks about every day, but to move a product from A to B, to move troops from A to B, to move personnel, uh, it, it is all not a luxury, but it's dependent upon space. Yes, and Frank, that's really well said, and I'm glad you raised that point because it's one of the things that I talk about with the Space Force and with the policymakers on a regular basis. Don't just think about the military assets in space. Uh, there is a role there to prevent economic coercion from our adversaries and to protect commerce in space because everything you said is true and more. Not only could you not move goods from point A to point B, you can't pay for them. Yeah. Agriculture yeah. is dependent on space. When we think about the improved yields that, that just domestic agriculture provides because of GPS, for example, you know, we're feeding, we're feeding probably 800 million people every day across the globe with the improved productivity in agriculture alone. When we are concerned about the potential for climate change, what space does for especially over the ocean transport of goods, which is the dominant consumption of that type of fossil fuel, again, it's millions of gallons of fossil fuel that is conserved literally every day by the use of space. And so an adversary need not just fight us in space to enable a military action, they can harm our economy or coerce our government for fear of our economy being harmed.